Do you think you need to sell your home before buying the next one? If so, I got a couple tips for you. All right, guys, here's a question that I get all the time from buyers. And it's their worry that they need to sell their existing property before buying the next one. And that's such a common problem. Uh, however, I have three solutions that I put all of my clients through uh, and we have a lot of success with it. So I'm gonna share those with you now. Uh, the first one is go ahead and look into your loan options. People are surprised that they can actually go out and purchase that next home uh, without selling their primary residence. Uh, a lot of the times you can do a home equity line for the down payment, or we can offer you a bridge loan where you actually don't even have to pay the payments from that bridge loan. My brokerage, the beautiful brokerage that I'm with, will actually cover those payments and then just get reimbursed uh, when you go ahead and sell your property. So really cool, unique loan options out there. So that's number one. Let's talk to a lender, see if you can purchase, then turn around and sell your primary residence. The second option that we put a lot of our clients through is actually what's called a rent back. We'll go ahead and put your property up on the market, find a buyer who's willing to rent you the property after the close of escrow. So in a situation where we do a 30 day escrow, we'll ask the buyer to allow you to rent your property back for say an additional 30 days or 60 or even 90 days in some situations. Uh, that gives you plenty of time to one, get your funds and close on your residence and also get time out there and find that next purchase and give you enough time to find that next purchase. So that's a great option. And then the third option that we put a lot of people uh, through and probably the most safe option is what's called a sale or a contingent sale, meaning the buyer that you put under contract for the sale of your property, they understand that you're looking for your next home and the sale is gonna be contingent upon you finding your next property. So usually we put some time frames on there. We need to go ahead and find your next property within 30 to 60 days. However, that's the most safe option. Um, just in case you don't find your next home, you don't have to sell your primary residence. Uh, the last thing that I always put all my clients through is a backup plan. If we do do a rent back or we go ahead and um, make the sale and we can't find a place in time, we always have a fallback plan. And usually that's finding an Airbnb that will do a two, three, four month uh, rental. Uh, and they're out there. As long as you're not along the coast, usually we can find you something a little bit more inland. So put your stuff in big box, we store it. You're living in an Airbnb, preferably in the neighborhood that you wanna search in and you wanna find a home in. And then we take our time and gradually find you that perfect home. So there's my three strategies. First off, use a bridge loan or find a, a lender out there that can give you a loan. Uh, and then turn around and sell your property. Second one, go ahead and get a rent back. So you sell your property and you rent it for an extended period of time. And then third one, just make the wholesale contingent upon you finding your next property. Lots of options out there. Please feel free to reach out to us if you guys have any questions. All right, take care.